That was really cool. Um, that lyric, why does love and hate sound the same to me? Um, that cuts really deep. And then how it kind of came in with that wah, 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 wah. Kind of makes you stop for a bit and listen. And then he's going to continue on with the song. Amazing writing, amazing producing. Hello, everybody. It's me, Brian. Back with another reaction video for you all today. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Tokyo from RM. I'm planning on reacting to the entire mono album. Somehow, I've missed a lot of songs from that album. I actually only reacted to Moonchild. Um, I don't know how I haven't reacted to these yet. Uh, they have been requested for quite a while now. And also, as you know, RM has a new album coming out, uh, Right Plays, Wrong Person. I am so excited for that. I love Nam June's writing. I love how his mind works. I love his music. I love his raps. I love his flow. He is a genius, as many of you know, in more ways than one. He is a literal genius. Um, he's also a musical genius, in my opinion. Uh, so I cannot wait to hear that just as much as I cannot wait to hear this song. Uh, so anyways, let's just pop on over to my other screen and listen to Tokyo by RM together. All right. Beautiful trees. They probably look even nicer without all the pixels. Like that piano. This new chair that my wife got me for my birthday is so comfortable. Um, I've been saying for months and months that I need a new chair. Uh, my wife must have been watching my videos or just heard me complaining. Um, and she got me this nice new chair. It has nothing to do with the video. I was just sitting back and I was like, oh yeah, a nice new chair. But anyways, I'm going to go back a little bit here. I love this piano in the beginning. I love pianos. I wish I knew how to play. Um, I should learn how to play. It's not that I can't learn. <laughs> Like leaning forward. I'm ready. Horrible posture. Wake up in Tokyo, feel like a torso. I know it's time to go. I said Pinocchio, we're in a poncho. That's me some time ago. So I miss myself. So breaking this down is going to be a little tough because it's poetry, it's Namjoon, but waking up like a torso, it's like you're waking up and you feel kind of dead, um, maybe emotionally, or maybe you was partying, something like that. Uh, but Pinocchio in a trench coat um, or a raincoat, it might have been a raincoat, uh, but you know, like not a real boy. Hmm. Interesting. I said Pinocchio, we're in a poncho. Poncho. Me some time ago. Him. Do I miss myself? Do I miss your face? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what it's about. Like the title. In Tokyo. That bass in the background. That's really good. It's kind of just building up with the bass and then they're kind of soothing you. I'm really liking this so far. I love Nam June. I love, love his writing. His music can be sad at times, but that's life. Shit, babe. When tomorrow comes, how 
different as grown up big. What do love and hate sound just the same to me? That was really cool. Um, that lyric, why does love and hate sound the same to me? Um, that cuts really deep. And then how it kind of came in with that wah, 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 wah. Kind of makes you stop for a bit and listen. And then he's going to continue on with the song. Amazing writing, amazing producing. Um, I don't know who the producer was on this. If it was just RM, if he did everything, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I really like that part. That part is really good. Love and night sound just the same to me. I wonder what that noise is. I love his singing voice. Uh, I've said it many times, and I also say this a lot too. Um, I know he has said before that he doesn't think he has a good singing voice. Um, I think he does. I think it's beautiful. I love when he sings. I love when he raps. I think he is an amazing artist all around. <laughs> I like the whistle. A little haunting. Your car. Hmm. A whistling at the end. I liked it, but it was a little haunting. It kind of gave me a chill. And the sound of like a car or maybe a train wishing by in the background. Um, kind of like he was just alone at the end, alone with his thoughts, maybe. It's interesting. The song, not quite sure what it's about, but it seems to be about homesickness or loss. Um, either missing your home or your life or your family of what it once was. And now everything's different and you can't go back to that. Because now you're in your new life or something like that. Um, it could also be about, you know, a love lost, a person, a specific person, and now you're not with them and, you know, you're homesick for them. It could be that. Um, that's a cool thing about poetry, though, is you can interpret it many different ways. Um, I say this a lot on here. Uh, what I say here, I'm not saying like this is what the song is about. Um, it's just, how it makes me feel, what it makes me think about how I relate to it in my life. And I kind of feel like it is about like homesickness or like, you know, your childhood life or, you know, your younger self. Um, there's times where I feel homesick for that. Um, you know, my much, much younger self, um, I had a pretty rough childhood, uh, but there were, you know, years here and there that were amazing. Um, but a lot of it was pretty rough. So I don't know how much of it I, I will go back to. Uh, but there are times, you know, where I do miss my early family life uh, with just, you know, with like my parents and my siblings. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this song. It's definitely going to go on my playlist. I cannot wait to hear more of Mono. Uh, but anyways, that is the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit like, please hit subscribe. That does help out. Please share this video as well. That helps out more than you know. But until next time, Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Take it easy. This reaction was made possible because of viewers like you. Thank you.